What can I say? The gorgeous, she's a household name, it's Claire Sweeney. Claire, thanks for coming to see us in the thank library bar. Thank you for having me. Thank you for well, having me on the show. I, I can't wait to come and see your show. Claire pretty much covers everything that really women want to talk about, mm. maybe even going venturing into the unknown. Uh, first of all, tell us about the show. So it's a series of questions. We know what the questions are. And it's questions like, what woman would you like to see on a banknote? And my answer to that without giving too much away is me. <laughs> For the times I've breastfed in service stations, for the times I've peed myself on stage after my baby, for for all the you know being a working mum and just trying to keep it together, and then we you know we get asked ten different questions. So you tell the truth honestly, then you sing a song that's appropriate. Oh, that is great. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the talking part or the singing part, or both? I never thought about that actually. Um, well, because I would think yeah. the, I would think the singing part would be more for me. Well, I can't sing, but I would think the singing part would be more difficult, or I'd be more nervous about the singing part. No, no, I've been doing it for years, so you, I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, second nature. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Now your mum has been to see the show. I love this. And what has your mum said? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what all the reviews give you. It's what your mum says that's important. So my mum watched the show last night. I said, "How was it, mum? Was my voice all right? What, what did you think?" She said. I suggest tomorrow you go and buy a pair of Spanx. No. She didn't suggest you actually go back. The Spanx! She said, go and get a pair of Spanx, love. She said, it's not very flattering your outfit and you put a bit of weight on. Oh, no, you have it. It's Edinburgh for you, isn't it? (laughs) Honesty in Scotland. I know. Now, the show, you also do this with some other girls because it's a celebration of women in sort of musical theatre, really, isn't it? So who else is in the show? So last week we had the wonderful Janie D. I've done this week. Then we've got Daniela Hope, the girl who won over the rainbow to play Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Then we have Rhea Jones at the end, and she was Glenn Close's understudy in Sunset Boulevard, and she went on for Glenn, and it kind of propelled her to uh, a bit of stardom. So. Oh, brilliant. So, I mean, it sounds like you're enjoying yourself. You're a bit of a party girl, aren't you? So you're, you're going out afterwards and enjoying yourself at the festival. Saying that, I did two nights partying when I was here, the first two nights. I had early starts, and then the last two nights I've been in bed for ten... No, tell a lie last night I went to see a cabaret I was in bed for midnight the night before that I went to bed at 9.30 so I kind of have to do these little top ups charge my battery up then I'm ready to go again tonight okay so what one show would you recommend Claire Sweeney recommends at the Edinburgh Festival can't say my own show yeah, of course you can. Oh, well, don't, don't, come, don't tell me not to fly, of course. <laughs> at the McEwen Hall at five o'clock every day, you've got to see it. And on that note, I think that, that pretty much wraps up. Claire, great to That's chat it. to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like, share. Subscribe. <laughs>